Hey, so there's a, a neat plugin called Send to UE which transfers files over to UE automatically, or auto magically, as I like to say it. And they've just recently added in some support for being able to send over your groom information. So I thought I'd do a quick video on it because it's pretty pretty cool. So there's a couple things that you need to do. You need to download the plugin, which is the Send to UE plugin uh, on the GitHub repo, which is linked in the description. Once you've downloaded that and installed it, as you would any other Blender plugin, you'll get these menu options, which let you do a whole bunch of different things. To enable the Groom, everything you need for Groom in Unreal, you need to first enable some plugins. So ena enable editor scripting utilities, Python editor script, uh, Alembic Groom importer, and Groom. Then in the, in the Unreal project settings, enable remote execution. When you first send the, uh, when you first send it to Unreal, you'll probably get a Windows dialog pop up, warning you, and just OK that. And then in also in Unreal project settings, make sure that support compute ca skin cache is enabled. And then the last thing that you could do, which you should do, is in the editor settings, and make sure that you use less CP while in the background is not is not ticked, because you don't want you want Unreal to be using lots of CPU while it's in the background behind Blender and being sent data. So I've got an empty project here. I'm in the content folder. Uh, let's go over to Blender here. So the only thing that you need to do in Blender is drag over everything that you want to export into the export collections folder, which is something that gets automatically added uh, when you install the plugin. And then you go over to pipeline, export, and click send to Unreal. So if we go in to the folders that it's been that, that, ha that have been created, we can go in and grab the assets. I pop them in here, and then zero out the location data. Then go into the groom folder, grab the grooms. That's all of them. Pop them in there. Doesn't quite fit. Let's pop the zero them out and press F to focus in. There we go. We got it. Uh, groom data in UE. Very cool. Okay, so over in Blender, back in Blender, let's uh, update the groom, put on the X symmetry, hit F to resize the uh, fall off, and with the, with the snake groom selected, let's just give him a fancy mush mustache. Um, go over to pipeline. Export, send to Unreal. So yeah, after about 20 seconds of waiting for it to import, uh, got the new groom information. Pretty cool. Very neat. There, there are some bugs still. So if you're trying to re-export groom material after you've moved everything into the export folder, uh, there are some problems with it. Um, it might be something to do with the geometry nodes losing connection somehow. I, I'm not sure, but um. Just to get the final export, final version of your grooming hair system over to Unreal, it does it just it does it just works. But uh, definitely definitely try it out and keep in mind that trying to re-export it multiple times might have some bugs. I'm going to try and figure out a bit more information about it and uh, do a bug report. But um, if I can see if I can re find a way to reproduce the exact problem. So um, yeah, that's it. Hope it was useful. Cheers.